Hello! <laughs> Hello everybody! It's your favorite airsofter again, Rick from Reaper 6 Airsoft, here with yet another unboxing video. I do these all the time now, this seems to be like my entire channel, and that's okay because it's super fun to do. At least I think so. I hope you guys do too. I don't know, my view count seems to say you do. But anyway, today we are unboxing the evike.com, what was it, the, the International Box of Awesome, International Day of Awesomeness box, yeah, that one. That's the one. That's the one we're doing today. Uh, this thing is, is pretty hefty, but before we get into it, two big things. First and foremost, Blue Mag Airsoft. I just used these BBs all through Operation Outbreak, so all of the guys that I shot got peppered with Blue Mag BBs. Check them out, bluemagairsoft.com, link in the description below. Also, I will be starting to do review videos. You guys said I should do the Reaper stamp of approval, and guess what? It's gonna happen. So, also, check the link below for the next gun I'm gonna review. So go ahead, down in that description, click that, and then see what we're gonna do. See if you like it. Give me some feedback. If you like the gun I've picked, let me know. If you don't, you don't really want to see it, let me know that too. But now we're gonna go ahead and get into this. And as you can tell from the intro, today I'm using a lightsaber. This, this thing, this is actually my wife's. Uh, mine is dead. <laughs> uh, of course I had to go with, with green and her favorite color is blue. That's why it's got the blue leather wrap. Uh, so this is from saberforge.com. I got it for her for Christmas. Uh, long story on that, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it with this and Okay, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> yep. That's a lightsaber for you. So let's go ahead and jump right on into this thing. First thing, I don't want to look into it too far, but I believe this is a swag pack. I actually forgot that I had bought a swag pack with this. Let's go ahead and look into this. You are definitely a... I think it's a swag pack. It looks like a swag pack. Tastes like a swag pack. All right. Okay, so, swagalicious. Wow. Okay, so, what do we have in here? First thing, I have a seven of hearts, which we're gonna go ahead and add this to the collection of cards. Um, another mask, always good to have. Put that off to the side. It looks like uh, another Spring Power Desert Eagle. This is the second one of these I have now, but that's it's still cool. Uh, my other one's tan, this one's black. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one. So that's still from a swag pack. Kind of cool. Oh, this one's different. Okay, so I got another EMG light thingy. I think this one's actually an armband. Yes, yes, this is actually an armband. Evike, were you listening to my last video? I think you might have been. I think so. Because I said in my last video that I was going to use these for armbands, and then I get one of these. I see you guys. I see you. <laughs> anyway, so this this is definitely going to get some use whenever I go to Tactical, because they have one side that wears tape and one side that doesn't. So if I wear tape, I mean, I don't like putting the, you know, engineer tape or whatever the heck it is on me. I'd rather use this. So there we go. Put it on green. Got a hex patch, currently supervised. Uh, what happens when I'm the supervisor then? So we're gonna put this on the wall, right behind me. Boop. And hand sanitizer, and awesome. This time they put the hand sanitizer in a little baggie, which was great because the last time I got one of my cards that had been doused in it, no big deal. It happens, not Evike's fault. It's shipping, it, it happens. So. Pretty neat for a swag pack. Can't complain for 20 bucks. Now go into it. There's something over here. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, first thing, I'm gonna get rid of the paper. All right. Trying not to look first. I want you all to see. Okay, I saw something already. All right. So this is another Spring Desert Eagle. This is the same Desert Eagle I got last time. But now, I have Three of them, two new ones and an old one. What am I gonna do with all these spring desert eagles? Yeah, I'll find something. When my kids are old enough, I will let them play with these, but they're not old enough yet. Now, 
I'm not. I'm, I'm closing my eyes so you all can see first. Okay. What are you? Oh, uh, it was upside down. Snow wolf. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not feeling that this was the base box. I'm thinking this might be something else. Again, I'm still happy with base boxes because this is super fun to do. All right. I'm closing my eyes. Just want to get rid of that. Okay, I did not see it. What are you? Oh, snap! Okay, this is new. This is unique. I have never actually had one of these before. This looks like a, it's an og. That's cool. So it's a snow wolf og. Let's see. Move that off to the side. Guys, that is cool. I have never had one of these before. So, okay, so it, it looks like there's a selector, the selector switch right here looks like when you push it all the way, no, all the way that way, safe, one push in, semi, and then full auto. That's cool. That is cool. So I've never really messed with bullpups, um, not in airsoft anyway. Um, I have actually, uh, I have a little bit of experience with uh, bullpups in real life. Peep the screen right now for me in the middle of nowhere, Africa, with a French famous. Long story. Uh, well, not really, but that's for another day. Okay, that's cool though. It's it's all plastic, which is okay. But uh, yeah, I've um, as I said, I've I've never had a bullpup airsoft gun. Not an AEG. I've had a Springer, but you know, this. This may just come out to tactical or something. Uh, that's cool. Again, never had one. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on. Okay. My eyes are closed as you... Oh, wait. There's more over here. Oh, wait. Just... Okay. Masks. All the masks. All of the masks. Okay. So. Looks like we have... More masks. Now, more of these popper targets, which are super cool. Uh, again, I am planning on making uh, this like little poppy target thingy mabob. Basically, I'm going to put big springs on the bottom of these and put them on a piece of wood, put them at the end of my yard, and be able to shoot at them. Super cool. So, again, put those off to the side. They also have one of these little tackle box things. I've seen a lot of people confused on what to do with these. Best thing for, uh, that I can say to use these for, and what uh, what I've used it for, holding all your screws when you take your guns apart. If you're like me and you're a terrible tech because you're clumsy <laughs> and you lose stuff, put everything in here and close it. You'll never lose anything unless you're me and then you somehow find a way. But you're not me, only I'm me and you guys are probably better at teching than I am. These things are super useful. They're not junk. Everything has a use if you think about it. Now, I think I might know what this next one is based on what a friend of mine got. Oh boy, you're heavy. Okay, so it does say Barrett. So I think I know what it is. It's heavy, guys. All right, let me, let me move this box out of the way. I'm just gonna right at the camera. <laughs> Let's see if I'm right. I don't know. So, without looking at it, it does say Barrett on it. I think it's the Barrett 50 cal. It sure is! Holy crap! Oh boy, that's super cool. Okay, I actually almost bought this off of a friend of mine from his box. Little did I know I had one in my living room in the box the whole time. Let's go ahead and open this thing and put it together. Holy crap! Holy crap! So I don't think it was the big win, but not the basiest base box, but once again, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, that barrel is larger, longer than my arm. Okay, so I haven't gotten all of it together yet. I I have, uh, I put the barrel in it, which was easy, but, uh, what are you, spring? No, you, you've got to be an AEG, I, I think. I think. Holy crap! So, uh, once again, uh, I do have a little bit of experience with the uh, the real steel version of this. Back from 2014, I got lucky enough to shoot like 10 rounds through it, and 
does not kick like you'd think it would. And that's because of that bad Larry right there, that muzzle brake. All the blast goes out to the sides, uh, but not with this pew because it's just a little pew gun. <laughs> but oh, <laughs> nothing little about this thing. There is nobody behind the camera here. Oh my gosh, this thing is uh, this thing is taller than me, or just about. Well, hold on, let's test this theory. Okay, I am six one. And I'm not sure how much of this is, you know, my head is probably cut off in the frame right now just because of the way my setup is, but uh, that comes up to my shoulder. I feel like I could make one beastly sniper rifle if I put an HPA engine in this thing. Maybe like a Kythera or something so it could be semi-auto only. Or I could just get another Reaper engine like I have for my, uh, my M4 because it's, you know, semi-lock being the electromechanical version. Hmm, the old wheels are turning here. Hmm. Holy crap, guys. So, I bet you're wondering, like myself, just how much all this is worth. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick uh, search up on their website. So, according to Evike's website, this was the 60 winner box. So not the basiest base box, which is good. That We're on a roll of not the basiest base boxes, which is awesome. I am very much okay with that. Um, again, even if we're the base box, I do this for fun. The mystery is cool for me. I love doing this. But yeah, so the Barrett is $269. The AUG is, at least I think it's an AUG. Sure, it's an AUG. Uh, is $159. And then the rest is valued at 62. I paid 200 and what, 225, 230 ish for this. We'll say 230. And this val value of everything here together is $490. That's $260 more value than what I paid for. That's a win to me. Even if I'm not a sniper player, it's a win in value. Holy crap. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. I have no idea. Wow. Anyway, as I said at the beginning of the video, I want you guys to go ahead down to the description right now, and there is a link to a gun that I plan on reviewing from Evike. I want your opinion in the comments of this video of if you guys want to see it or not. But if you don't want to see that one, tell me which gun you want me to review. Please don't tell me to buy a $2,000 gun. Because I might do it. I'm just kidding. I don't have money like that. If I did, I would. But tell me what you guys think. Uh, and also tell me what you guys think about this box. Holy crap, dude. I love it. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing video. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Reaper 6 out.